Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about CocoaPods. Heard the name CocoaPods, I was like, hey, what's CocoaPod? Why do we actually need it? But I will, all of those kind of questions would be answered into the video. So keep watching video and if you like the video, please subscribe, share and just hit like. So let, let's go. Let's go to the CocoaPods to ORG first. This is the official website for the CocoaPods ORG. Now, it is clearly stated here that CocoaPod is dependency manager for Swift and Objective C for Cocoa project. So let's take an example where I want to implement third party progress bar inside my project. But I don't want to go to the GitHub profile or any third party library or maybe it could be medium or revenue leach and I don't want to download it and manually integrate it to the, my project because if I do that, then I have to keep checking up with the third party vendors for each quarter or each couple of months to see whether there is an update for those library or not. But CocoaPod is a great thing. You don't need to do that. So let's see. First, why CocoaPod? So any third party library that is created by any developers that could be converted into the CocoaPod and then they can update, then they can actually deploy to the CocoaPod. So you just need to hit one command and it will be available for you to use. So first let's see how to install CocoaPod into your project. You just need to tap command and space then write terminal okay and type command sudo gm install CocoaPods. Now the OS will prompt you to give your password for the security reason. Now, the OS will start pulling up all the Cocoa Ports setup. It will take some time. Your list is going to be much larger than mine because I have already Cocoa Port installed. And when I hit the command, it went to the server and check whether there is an update or not. But it seems there is not update. There was a couple of new Cocoa Ports available. Uh, I mean, the gyms available and those have been installed. So now my system is ready. My OS has already Cocoa Ports. Now next stuff is how actually I can add it to my Xcode project. So let's go to that. Okay, I'm creating new project in my Xcode. Sometimes my Mac could be slower than Tata. And sometimes it's faster than Rocket. Come on. Okay. So I'm creating a new project. Let's name it Cocoa Codes Implementation. Okay. I have already covered uh, the details and the whereabouts of the Xcode and how to create project in my earlier videos. If you haven't gone to that, I recommend you to go and watch the video and then come back to here. So my project is being created now. Let's go to my industry report and add some label values. Let's add some constraint. We'll name it Let's see the Apple Docs and just update the frame. Mm. Let's make sure slash and set. But I can't actually add the slash in here, so I'm gonna say like this. Okay, let's increase the font a bit so it's more visible to everyone okay so now our project is about to be executed meanwhile let's go to the here so everybody knows we have to go to the directory and tap on xcode project to open the project but with cocoa port it's gonna be different so let's 
let's just wait until this is done and then I'll be able to show you about that. I have just updated my machine to Montred 12.3 and Xcode 13.3. That's the reason it took a bit longer than usual. If you haven't updated your system, I suggest you to do that because Apple has fixed some of the crucial vulnerabilities of the Logforge in this release. Okay, I think we are all set. Now let's close this for a while. Let's go to terminal again. I'm just writing CD. So I'm inside my project directory. I'm gonna type ls minus l. So it will give me all the list of files. Now we have to add pod here. So I'll say pod init. Basically, pod init is command that is you give instruction to system to initialize port inside this directory so when i say enter it will take a couple of seconds to do the job okay now we have port file so now we have port file is available now the next step is whatever port file you want to add i'm sorry whatever port library you want to add you have to specify it here so first let's tap on it go to other let's see what we have inside port file okay now here we can see the minimum target is set to ios 9.0 oh, sorry the deployment target and this is my project and here i have to just start writing the ports so i have already opened up one port that is very famous sc progress hard and we will be using this as a demonstration you just have to scroll a bit to the git profile and then select this basically this is the name or you can say address for this address for that progress hood now let me go to the xcode paste it save it manually and close it you also want to close the xcode just for the safer side now again let's go to the terminal type cd go to the cocoa boards now we have already set up the coco boards we have already mentioned which port library we want to bring now we just have to start pulling in so port install you can see the system has started analyzing the dependencies sooner it will start pulling the dependencies now so downloading has been completed it is it is it sees it has installed the sc progress root and this is the version number 2.2.5 if you want to download specific version you can also do that by mentioning it here I'll, let me search if that is available here it's not available but you can do that although you can use this kind of command also for normal for normal external source dependencies but i preferred doing this only so now let's go to the document edit our project directory let's close this terminal now we can see the difference here now these are two files earlier we used to have only one file xcode project but now we also have xcode workspace so this is very crucial point here if we have pod installed we are not supposed to open this this is only for the project where we don't we are not using pods if we have ports, we have to open this. This is the says.exe workspace. It means the OS has created another workspace containing all the ports. So if you want to use port, you have to open this up. Uh, completely developer experience is going to be same as earlier. There's going to be no difference. So I'm clicking, I click open with Xcode. Okay. Now you can see two targets. First one is our project, second one is pod. If you can go to the pod, there is also a project inside pod. You can play with these values. Now inside pod, I, this is like a main target inherited from our target. And then we have SV progress hood, the details like the version, the build, 
and the package name and if you just expand it you can see the framework and the codes for that you can actually go and edit this if you want but i don't recommend you to doing that because whenever you will do that it will be prompted to you like are you sure you want to unlock this to edit i recommend going with don't unlock for now so let's go back now let's go back to the my view controller let's import the code progress so you can see it is already added to the import list now i'm gonna write here like as we progress good dot maybe show okay and this run the project oops it seems i have created opened up another simulator Uh, so I had opened up another simulator by mistake. I have, have reverted that and I'm again open uh, iPhone 13 Pro. Let's go. Okay. Bingo guys, we can see the progress bar here. Now let's try to make this a more suitable. Should we or should we not? okay let's just do a, a bit of ui change here just so it looks more intellectual i'm gonna change vertical 1.1 hmm, i should not be doing that i have to take this one point one Oh, I'm writing wrong. I'm really sorry, guys. 1.1 to this. Now you can see the levels are completely aligned with the progress bar. So if you are going to create any application for yourself where you want your progress bar, make sure to use Coco port and make sure you are using SV Progress we have because this comes. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't be telling you this. I think you already know. Also, uh, let's go. Let's throw some light here. Coco Pose. It is over eighty-nine thousand libraries and it's over in three million apps. This is like marketing tactics. You, I I'm sure you're not gonna fall for that. Also, all the steps that I mentioned in the video, those are already available to this website. They have given you each development guides from the basics to advanced. So feel free to explore the website. I will mention this in the details. Also, how to get started is also available in the, the link. Just explore it whenever you can. If you want to contribute anything, you can do that by visiting these links. And if you want to create your own code, then that is also possible. I'll be covering that in my upcoming videos that how to create your own code. Until then, stay tuned. Have a good day. Thank you so much, guys.